with us being based in the Houston area and right near NASA, we've got obviously a lot of engineers in the area and a lot of engineers' kids, and so there's high interest in, in what this lab and space has to offer. My name is Jim Johnson, I'm branch manager of the Clear Lake City County Freeman Branch Library, which is a branch of the Harris County Public Library System. This room is the Jocelyn H. Lee Innovation Lab. It started all the way back when we received a notice about a bequest received from Mr. Jocelyn H. Lee in 2013, and we opened the lab in February of 2015. This space is a maker space. It's designed to be kind of whatever the public wants. This space tends to focus on STEM activities, science, technology, engineering, and math. Being a public library, we try to make as much as possible free, from circuit building and laser cutting engraving, soldering, robotics is strong interest in that. 3D printing tends to be a cornerstone feature of the lab and the availability for it to the community. We've got small business entrepreneurs who use this space, inventors. We have international science fairs winners who've come through here. Many, many different kinds of projects that take place in this space. We really want it to be a space for the community and for them to sort of define what they want it to be. And they, they definitely have over the last couple of years. I've been amazed at, at a lot of the things that have come out of this space over the last two years. I'm not an engineer myself and one of the things I was looking forward to most about this space when it was coming into its own in the beginning was seeing what people were going to do because my imagination was very limited. If I had to pick one thing that's been the most satisfying thing coming out of this space in this lab, it'd have to probably be that little girl whose, whose life was changed in a way. Last year, several volunteers had the opportunity to create a prosthetic arm for a five-year-old girl. That project put a smile on the face of a little girl. That made their efforts very personal. And being able to see the smile on that little girl's face, I think, was reward enough for all of those involved. There are ideas and plans in the works to expand this space due to the amount of usage it's received over the last two years. The sky's the limit.